Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this Photoshop Elements video, I thought we'd have some fun here and do a little presidential button. So let's just see how this is all done. Pretty easy. We have some circular text here and circular stars, a bunch of circles, and then a picture clipped inside. Again, pretty straightforward. Let's now see this whole thing is taken care of. I'll just minimize that out of the way. And we'll start with a new blank file. Default settings, 6x4, 300 resolution. And there we go. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is to find the center of the page. It's not real critical, but it makes it just a little bit easier. So let's drag some guidelines in, and they should snap right to the center. There we go. Pull this one down, and it should snap. There it is, right to the center. Okay, we're going to now draw our first circle in here. The whole thing is, of course, built on circles and built from the center. So we'll grab our ellipse tool over here. Let's just squeeze this up a little bit here and check our settings. You want to set at circle right there and also from center. And you can choose your color. Now I'm going to set this one our first color here, this is going to be what we're using behind, we're using for the creation of the text, so the color doesn't matter. I'm going to use something different here, something which we're not using elsewhere. Just keep things separate. So I use this kind of a cyan color. And then go on to the center, just like that, and drag out. And you can see the size over there. And we want this one to be at about 942. So I'm just going to go slowly here and Get it right about to 942. 940 works close enough for me. Now we're going to use this to build our other circles off of and also to create our outside circular text. So let's switch over to the type tool. There we go. Horizontal type tool, that's correct. Change the color here to a bright red. There it is. It's a nice bright red. Now the point size for this is 30 points. You can adjust the size if you want to, of course, after you have this thing done. And the typeface I'm using on this, let me just scroll way up here, up towards the top, I'll be using Arial. And let's get clear to the top. I'm just using the wheel on my mouse to scroll up on this list. There we go. And back down just a touch. Arial bold, right there. Okay. Arial bold. 30 point and set that for centered text. Now notice the change in the cursor out here. It has a square around it. That gives you normal straight text. Inside there's a circle around it. That gives you text inside of your shape. What you want is right against the edge. You see that kind of a squiggly line there? That's text on the shape. So come right here to the middle line and then pull down until you get that change in the cursor. There it is. Click at that point and we can now type in our text. There we go. Vote for Rusty for president. Now I had a couple of stars on this left and right side. Those stars, let me just do that. There we go. Those stars are made with a font, a dingbat font. And this is a, a Windows font. Let me just bring that up here. And it's one called Wingdings. And the star I used is right down there inside of this Wingdings font. And it's just a standard Windows font. This has been with Windows for way back when. And these Dingbat fonts, these are fonts that just have images in them instead of having text in them. But it's just text like anything else. It's just text as images instead of text as letter images. Now you can find this character map to find these things. Let me show you where this thing is. This is, of course, on Windows and open up the start menu and here we go start menu and if I open up all programs it's just off the screen 
but all programs, Windows Accessories, and then come down here to System Tools, and there's the character map right there. It's in a little different place than other versions of Windows, but it's all basically the same spot. So let's go ahead and open that up, and there you go, there's a character map. Now, look for the Wingdings typeface, it's towards the bottom, as you can see, because it begins with W. And with the Wingdings, there's four of these, and there's Webdings, Wingdings, Wingdings 2, and Wingdings 3. You want just the Wingdings right there. And then it's down several rows here, and it's that one. Just double click on that, and that selects it over here, and just choose Copy. I can now delete that, go back to our type tool here, and I'll click right in front of the V, and then we can do an edit paste. And now this is the Arial Bold in here still, so I want to select that and then change the typeface. Let's bring up our typeface list, and I'll grab this control handle way down towards the bottom again, and there are Winter V's. There's Wingdings Regular, and there's the star. Now I can select that and edit copy. Come just outside, edit paste, and there it is. Now come over to this side, and we'll do that twice more. Edit paste, and edit paste, and there's our two dots, and that's our text on the circle. Now if I hide the circle, there's the text. Okay, now we want to have our inside circles. Let's build our inside circles. Take this shape, drag it up here to the new layer button right there. Now I have a copy of that. Let's just hide this one. And on this one I want to change the color to red. So we still have our red over here as a foreground color because we had that when we chose our type. So make sure your foreground is red. If not, click on that and then just choose red. Upper right hand corner is fine paint bucket, click inside, and we now have that as red. Come down to the bottom right hand corner, hold down the Alt key, and then we're going to drag this in. Now the Alt key drags it in from the center. See how it's just centered in there? So I want to have this one at about 882. doesn't need to be exact, but about 882 will be just about right. There's 883. That's good. So there we go. Now the size on that was 93 point something percent if you wanted to do it as a percentage, but close enough, this doesn't need to be exact. So there we go, there's our president, there is the red circle. We now want to have another circle inside of this one. So go over here, go to the red circle this time, and we're going to duplicate this circle, so drag it up here to the new layer button, there we go. Now this will be the circle behind the stars, so I want to have this one in a blue. So I'll go over here to the foreground color, or we can even do swatches if you want to. Let's just go ahead and bring up our swatches this time. Color swatches. There we go. There they are. I'll just choose that blue right there. Just a nice, nice blue color. And then paint bucket, click inside, and it fills it with a blue. Back to our move tool. I'm just going to put this kind of over there someplace for right now. Get out of the way. Okay, I need to resize this now. I want a little bit of that red showing. So we're going to resize this down to about 882. Doesn't need to be exact. Now hold the Alt key down when you do this and it will resize from the center. So Alt key down and there's our size as you, as you can see over here. And I meant to say actually 842, so there we go. So there's a resize down to 842. So there's the blue, a little bit of red showing outside. Perfect. We now need to put our white stars in here. We'll be using the Dingbat font, the same star we had out here for that star. But I want to have a circle, of course, to put those on. So we'll go and we'll copy this circle. Just like that. Duplicate that. Let's give this a different color. I'm going to choose this RGB green and fill that. That's just so I know that this circle is not going to be used in the final image. The light blue and the green will be not used, so I'll hide those and leave everything else showing. Okay, I want to resize this. Hold the Alt key down again so we resize from the center. 
and let's bring this one down quite a ways down to 650 or so, 648, 650 in there someplace. So there we go, there's 649, that's good. Okay, here's our inner circle. Now this will be used to put our stars on. Now you find that the type layer here will be getting in the way. So take your type layer, drag it down just above the background, gets it out of the way. So it's still showing because of course it's outside of everything else, that's fine. Okay, back up to the green circle layer. Let's go to the type tool and let's change our settings. We want to have this left justified and set that at white. Now sometimes it changes for reasons I don't really know. Elements is kind of odd this way. Okay, now scroll up here until you see that cursor change and make sure you're right on that center line. It doesn't need to be perfectly exact, but just close. Click on that point. There we go. Now the star should still be inside of the clipboard. So I should be able to just do a control V and paste that on. Okay, so what happened is pasting that on actually in the other format, which was what we had here, is copying the color and the center as well. Let me just go to left justify. Let's change that to white. And let's copy that. So click to the right side, drag over here to copy that. Edit copy. That's now in the clipboard. And I can now do control V and just paste a whole bunch of these things around the circle. So control V and I'll keep on doing that and paste those clear around the circle. At the end it may not fit exactly as you can see there. Just choose OK. So what I want to do is I want to change my type size just a little bit. So let's double click on that to choose the or select the type. Let's now change the type size here to 29 point and there we go. A little bit smaller and that now fits in. Now I, I put an extra star up there so I made these smaller that extra star was showing. If you see a big gap in here just, just do another star at that point. Okay there's these stars. We can now hide that circle. That's now taken care of. Okay we're getting there. Moving in from the outside to the inside. We now need another circle in here. So let's grab our blue circle here. Drag that up to a duplicate. I want this one white. So let's go over here make sure on white. That's good. Foreground color is white. Paint bucket. Click in here someplace and make that white. We're now going to resize this one down a little bit. So hold the Alt key again. Grab the corner. And I want this one at about 595, 597 or so in there. You'll see how it looks as we come in. It's just a little bit smaller than those stars. So there's 95, 98 looks pretty good. So there's that inner circle. I now need another circle inside of this one and in that circle we'll be placing in our dog picture. So let's copy this circle again. Take that right there. Let's copy that up here. Give this another color. I'm going to choose my green again here and let's fill that. This is going to be changed from the green color to the dog picture so it's not going to matter. That's this one right here. Actually so we're not confused. I'm going to make this one a magenta instead. Again the color doesn't matter. I just want to make it obvious where we're at. Okay so there's our magenta circle. Let's resize this circle. See there's a control handle right there right at the edge. Right there. I'm going to resize this one down a little bit further down to about four or about 545 or so, somewhere in there. Again, hold the Alt key down so you resize from the center. Drag that in, wait for your little numbers to show up there. And we want about 545. There's 544, that's good enough. Choose OK. OK, so far so good. Now, we need the dog in here. At this point, we're done with these guidelines. So you want to hide the guides or clear those. Go ahead and just clear those out of the way. We're all done with that. And we need our dog picture. Let me bring the dog picture up here. There we go. Now in the dog picture, I made a selection around the head of the dog. As you can see, let me just redo that. Grab the marquee here, set that at new selection, and let's make a selection around the head. There we go. And let's just copy this 
edit, copy. There it is. Get rid of that. Back over here to this shape. Now to put that dog picture inside of this, I need to simplify this one layer. So let's right click and simplify. And notice a little icon, a little square in the bottom right hand corner is now gone. That's a simplified layer. Now that it's simplified, I can paste that dog picture inside of that circle. So let's select this, hold the control key down, click on the icon here that selects just that circle and then edit paste into selection. There's the dog. Now it's too big obviously so I'm going to drag the control handles down here kind of move them around until we get a nice size. And there we go. There's the dog inside. And choose OK. Give it our colors now. And we can deselect that. And there we go. Now couple last little things to do, little quick details. I want a little dark blue line right around the outside, a little bit of a detail line around the outside of that shape. And that's this one here. So click on that shape and then go up here to layer and layer style, style settings and stroke. One outside stroke, you can see there's the outside line. If I change that size, you can see there's the stroke. Okay, let's set that stroke to nine pixels and then click over here and this brings up the color selector and then use the eyedropper tool and just click on that blue and choose OK. It's a little thin blue line detail on that. That looks pretty good. Let's do the same kind of a thin line. I want a little thin line around this outer blue circle. So there's our outer blue circle and then let's go back up to layer and layer style, style settings stroke same thing set this for nine and it's outside but i want this at white so i'll just drag up here upper left hand corner like that or i can use the eyedropper outside here whatever and choose okay and that gives us just a little thin white line there and it makes that red line thinner as well choose okay and that just adds a nice little bit of a detail to that so there we go there is how to do a little campaign button in here with circular text and shapes in a circular manner as well. I'm just going to resize this a little bit, reposition rather. I'll drag a marquee around all of those layers and then I'll pull them down a bit. That looks good. Okay, there we go. There's a little vote for Rusty for President campaign button. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this 